Now that we have our new user created, we can create an additional layer of security for our server by creating a cryptographic key pair to log in. The key pair replaces the role of our login password. It reduces the likelihood of success of brute force attacks on our server. A brute force attack is when someone is trying to gain unauthorized access to your system and sets up a script to try different combinations of characters to guess your password. If you're on a Windows machine, you can follow the steps in this lesson. If you're using Terminal on a Mac, please view the next lesson intended for Mac users. First, open Putty Key Generator. Remember, we saved this application to the desktop when we downloaded it from putty.org. On the Putty Key Generator interface, make sure you select RSA under Type of Key to Generate. For Number of Bits, type in 2048. Now click the Generate button. Keep moving your mouse around in this blank area to generate the key. So this is the key here. Highlight the entire key. Make sure you get all of it. Right click to copy. Now create a folder on your desktop and call it keys. Inside this folder, create a text file and call it public. Open the text file and paste the key inside. Now save the file and close the text editor. Now back in Putty Key Generator, enter a key passphrase. Confirm the passphrase. Do not forget this passphrase, you'll need it later. Once you've entered the passphrase and confirmed it, click Save Private Key. And you're going to save this in your Keys folder. You're going to save it as private. You don't have to enter the extension, it'll automatically be saved as a PPK file. So just type in private and click save. So now in our keys folder, we have private.ppk and public.txt. Now you can close Putty Key Generator. And back in your command console, type exit to exit the current session. Open putty.exe. Load the MyLinode session, so just click on it and click the Load button. Don't click Open yet. We're not connecting just yet. Under the Category menu, expand the SSH item and click on Auth. Now click Browse, and you're going to load. You're going to go to your Keys folder and you're going to load private.ppk. Okay, now go back to session. Now click open to connect. We're going to log in as user Bob. It's going to say server refused our key, and that's fine. But we'll fix that in this next step. So enter your password as normal. Now we need to create an authorized keys file and enter our public key into this file. 
So type in the following command to create a blank authorized keys file inside a new folder called .ssh. And press enter. Now open the authorized keys file we just created using nano. So you're going to type in this command and press enter. Okay, now open the public.txt file we created and copy the entire key inside this file. Make sure you get the entire thing and paste it inside your command console. To paste, you're just going to right click. Okay, so the entire key is in there. Don't worry if you can only see a bit of it. As long as you've pasted, the entire thing is in there. Now, exit nano, so press control X, and you're going to be prompted to save the changes. Make sure you type in Y and press enter. Now type exit to exit this session. Now we're going to reconnect using PuTTY. So open PuTTY. And click My Linode. Click the Load button. In the Category menu, go back to SSH. Expand it and click on Auth. And load your private key. Now go back to session and click open. We're going to log in as Bob. And this time you'll see it says authenticating with public key, RSA key, and then a number. Now it's asking you for your passphrase for this key. You're going to enter the passphrase that you configured in PuTTY Key Generator and press enter. And now you've successfully connected using the SSH key rather than just a plain text password.